What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we are back in Attack of the Earthlings. It seemed like you guys really liked the game, so I figured I'd give you some follow-up episodes here. Uh, in the previous episode, we had been an evil alien queen. Okay, not evil alien queen. I don't think that's the proper terminology. But we had wiped out a lot of bad guys, so that was pretty sweet. I don't remember the exact positioning of some of these soldiers and other people that are around here. But... Oh, I don't know. Let's open that on up. I'll stand this one in the doorway. We'll kind of just get some people spread around. I think I got the guy in here, so I don't think we have any more roamers running around. Let's go ahead and end our turn, and we'll see what Galactic Oil's got brewing for us, other than just oil and grease. Hopefully these dudes don't come around the back. I'm a little bit worried about it, but we've got a guy right there that I think we can take out. Let's split up. I'm going to use the queen to get this guy. So we'll put the queen right here for right now. I have no idea what that robot does, but I'm going to assume that it's not super bad or mercurial or anything like that and it's not going to take me out let's move you over to here get you nice and behind a corner and now that you're behind a corner we're going to set up an auto attack right there just in case it happens we have somebody in the vents right now where are you trying to go through the vents doesn't look like the vents take us anywhere particularly interesting so I don't know I'll just place this one over here as backup for the queen in case she needs it We'll put that one over there. It was faster than traveling on foot, I guess. We've got an auto attack going right there. Let's go ahead and get you set up on that side too, just in case. Looks like we got a watcher over on that side, but I'm not going to concern myself with it too heavily. If it decides to wander around and come inside of our territory, we will eat his face off! That seems to be the plausible explanation for 90% of the shit I do as an alien queen is that we will eat their faces off. I've got lots of biomass left, so I see no reason why I shouldn't keep multiplying. I will end my turn there, and let's just kind of watch the patrols and wait and see what happens. We have another dude right there, but it doesn't look like he comes this way. Let's snipe both of these guys on the same turn. We'll do a linked attack over here. Is it beating that guy with a wrench because he doesn't have his helmet? It's beating him with a wrench? And it's punishing him for not having a helmet on. Go figure. Go figure. Uh, we will go with attack. Maybe not. I needed to set up one of those linky attack things. I think that's it right there. Yeah, group attack. We've got it. So there's a group attack right there. You group attack right there. I really like these chained attacks, by the way. These chained attacks are my stuff. And so I very much prefer... Yeah, execute it. Hopefully that dude don't hear anything. Oh, he did. Oh, it turned him around. Perfect! I couldn't have asked for a better situation to play out. Yay. Go ahead and take him too. Take him home tonight. Give him lots of alien scratches and alien bites. Eat his flesh right now. We're gonna eat him like he is a juicy cow biomass. Do you need more biomass? Spit out another one on that side. We'll finish off the last corpse right there. Oh, humans are having a terrible day right now. Humans are just having the worst day ever. What happens if I put you right there? Do I get beat by a robot? I was hoping that I wouldn't, and I'm glad to see that I didn't. You go over here, and if this guy decides that he wants to pop on out and mess with us on this side by doing his guard duty stuff... We'll do what we gotta do. I can only block one entrance for right now. If he decides to come in a little shallow, I think he's gonna get a shot off. But at this point, we have so many children. Like, we really do. We have so many accomplices to the human murder that's taking place right now that I'm not concerned. It'll be okay. You guys, squad! Roll out with me to this side, and we'll go check this little area over here through that door, and we'll see what we can accomplish. And the turn! The aliens have nothing to show us. Nothing. So it looks like he's just going to patrol around over here. Alright. Go through to right there. And get him all fitted up with an ass whooping. He's done. So we'll eat the corpse very rapidly in case I need replacement soldiers. You. Go check out and see where that vent goes. We might need it in a little bit. You go this way and live dangerously. There might be somebody standing right there. But we'll have to find out about that after the fact. Looks okay to me. You get up in there, too. Hopefully they can't spray most of us. Children are not liable for overtime pay. Apparently your children can't earn overtime. 
That's not a part of the union agreement, so don't bring your kids to work, and definitely don't have them work on associated projects. That guy's coming around to right there. That leaves him in a nice open position to catch that alien juju that we do do. And we got that right there, so go ahead and bust that coil. Done! I must have the wrong glasses on, because there's no way I'm reading the words motor, coil, and explosion for the second time today. I mean, on the incompetent scale, that's way past immediate firing, and right into left for dead on crumbling planet. You feel me? Do not let the last coil go down. It sounds like this corporation essentially has whatever purview they want to operate. I feel a little bad for their employees. Right now, they're all getting slaughtered and eaten by aliens, and this guy's threatening to fire them for it happening. That's a rough life you lead right there, man. That's a rough life. So that goes over to there. I don't really care about this ventilation system then. Just pop on out. That's locked, so we can't even do anything with that right now. I assume that leads to the last coil. Or at least... Uh, oh, no, never mind. There's a coil right there. We have multiple soldiers in this area, though. And they're kind of in a messed up position. It may take some finagling to get this done. We're going to have to wait for somebody to expose themselves, giggity giggity goo. Giggity giggity goo. There we go. I can speak today. I haven't got my enunciation down for the day. I'm just, I'm struggling, okay? I'm struggling, so you're going to have to bear with me. But alien supremacy is going to happen on this planet. We are not going to walk away from this. Everything dies. So let's see if anybody leaves us with an opening here. doesn't look like it we do have a ventilation shaft that goes there that leads to that vent so it looks like we're gonna have to leapfrog on our turn load as many aliens into the vent as possible snipe that guy snipe that guy with the second move it's gonna be an interesting turn it's gonna be a very interesting turn I don't really need to move anybody else around so Oh. Hmm. I wonder if this will work. Let's just wait it out. I don't think it's gonna. What I want to do is set up an auto attack so when the door goes down, this alien automatically gets on that guy right there. But I don't think it's gonna work. It seems sketchy to me. It seems very unlikely. Alright, so we've got room right now. We can get that guy. That guy's gonna be the next problem. So you line up on him. You get into the vent, and then take your alien ass over to here. You set up right there. Yeah. This might work out okay. So group attack, group attack. And group attack. They're coming from the walls! Game over, man! Game over! It's definitely game over for you. You just had the worst day ever. Eat the bodies, because I don't like evidence being left around. That's not something. If I end up in front of an alien tribunal for this, I don't accept that as an outcome. I don't accept that as an outcome. So eat the bodies. There we go. You get to the process of reproducing and converting humans into little devilish creatures designed to kill humans. You go over to here and break that coil. Yes? Are we not breaking the coil right? Maybe it's the angle. Maybe it takes more than one. True enough. Goodbye. And there goes number three. That's it. I'm sending down some guys to teach you a lesson in discipline you'll never forget. Can't win them all. 
Okay, so sometimes an individual unit's damage is too low to kill an enemy one hit. If he survives, they will attempt to shoot back. Group attack. Yeah, that's what I figured. We'll probably have to go in with some group attacks right here. So they got reinforcements coming through. These guys are inside that area right there. They're more than likely going to come through that door. Let's set up some ambushes and kind of wait and see what happens with them. I will kind of set up around each and every location. Just a little bit. Keep the queen safe. I think there's no reason to risk her life in this particular debacle. I will, however, spit out a few more aliens because you never know. We might need them. You eat that last corpse right there. You head this way. And we'll just reinforce where we can reinforce. I don't know how much HP these guys have until they're actively on screen, so we'll wait and see. I assume their range is going to be a little bit better than the other guys, too. Let's set up on either side of this door in case they come this way. So we got an overwatch right there. We got an overwatch right there. That location is probably a wash. So let's set up inside this little room. Other aliens, do I have you around here anywhere? You go help out with whatever the inevitable outcome of this situation is. You go over to this side. One by one, we'll get everybody into position. And then we will be good to go. These guys are going to get flooded. Please believe. Me another one right there. Yep, we're going to do this in true Xenomorph fashion. If we can't get you with one, we'll get you with more. So they're already on active alert. In case they can make it through right here. Oh my goodness. They've got 35 health. Okay. You guys set up right there. That should be enough damage to drop them, I think. Depending on which way this guy turns when he comes through, I want people lined up as backup. So that we can just hit him with the swarm. You guys are in kind of a unique situation. Where you're a little bit outnumbered. So I may send somebody over to help you. Alright, and that looks like the most we can... That looks like the most we can jimmy rig out of this situation. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. I was trying to do this with no kills, but I guess I'm just not going to get that. You go through there. You set up right here. Alright, well we got an alien down, so he's going to have to come through the door at some point. He has no choice. You guys, however, set up a group kill right there. Just mob on him. Ah! All done and taken care of. I wonder if I get more biomass from the more heavily armored guys. Let's have a look and see if this flesh is more nourishing than the previous flesh. It is not. We learned a lesson today. So there's one down right there. And then there's another one down. Special Forces team, say goodnight. Off to hell with you. Uh, by the way, um, once you've dealt with our guests, head up to seven. Dickenham's picking out lobster for dinner and wants some extra protection. After last week's pinching incident. Guys? Hello? Anyone there? Uh-oh. I like how he's got like a happy chime. But at the end of the day, he's kind of an asshole. So there goes 27 turns. We definitely didn't do a great job there. We got mutagen, though. Maybe we can use that to upgrade ourselves? I hope so. What's up with mutagen? What does that do? So we've got maintenance ready to go. We can. It's my birthday and I'll die if I want to. The maintenance department is responsible for fixing everything from faulty machinery to troublesome employees. After the snafu on level 1, Mr. Pecker has the area on armed lockdown. Nobody gets in or out until his repair teams get the drill moving again. They better work fast because the matriarch is coming. It's true. The matriarch is coming, and she is quite mad. Whoever it was you squished when you deployed the drill, she must have really liked that individual. The introduction to mutagen. 
This is the mutagen upgrade menu where you can purchase additional abilities and upgrades to make your units better equipped for the challenges ahead. After each mission, you receive mutagen. And then from there, the total amount of mutagen you have is displayed. We can do upgrades. Okay, let's have a look. So we've got Assimilate. Some later upgrades will be locked until prerequisite nodes have been activated. If you want some of the more powerful unit upgrades, you're going to need to invest. Since upgrades can be refunded at any time, however, we recommend you experiment and try many different strategies. So what is this? Convert a calm civilian into a mind-controlled drone. Unalerted enemies will treat drones as friendly. Ooh. Yeah, let me get that right there. That's pretty rad. And then we got some mutagen over here, but we'll worry about other stuff. I want to find out what that thing's got a butthole in the middle of its chest. Or like half a tangerine. I don't know, but we could definitely get some cooler robots and some cooler critters. That one looks like he assimilated one of the robot things. I don't know. Yeah, proceed with that loadout. We got 500 left over, so we can stockpile that for later. Ethical product testing. Sector 2. I've received several questions from you about a sudden and unexplained security lockdown. This came as quite a shock to me, as you aren't permitted to ask questions. Trust me. You have nothing to worry about. Keep the doors locked and get back to work. All right, so let's assimilate this dude. We're going to combine him into our horde and he will become one with the fiend. You. So assimilation. They treat the drone, but alerted ones will see through the facade. Drones make good scouts and can distract enemies, allowing you to slip swarmers past them. Okay. So there it is. We put a head crab on him. And so now, can he attack? He does zero damage. What else does he do? Distract. Causes all enemies within three tiles to face the drone. Okay. Let's maybe go scout around then and see what's available. <laughs> Alright. Apparently it works that well. Uh, you go scout things out for me because I don't even know what I'm looking at right now. So I'd like the map to be a little bit more uncovered than it was previously. That door is locked, so we ain't going nowhere in that direction. We have no extra biomass, so we are going to have to sort that situation out fairly soon. As far as distractions go... Does the machine gun tower see through the facade? It doesn't. Okay. Look at sharp this morning, Carlos. That's because he's got himself a new hat. Don't worry about it. It's the newest fashion in all the core worlds. We're out here on the rim, so you guys have never heard of it. She goes to a different school. So, like, how do I use him to get through the security lockdown? I assume I just wait till this guy pisses off. Oh, never mind. I thought I had to use the console right there to do something. Can this person unlock doors is my question. So if he can go to this side and he can flick the latch for me, I think that sounds pretty good. Doesn't look like he can. There's an unlocked door over there. Let's walk right to the edge of the scan zone over here, though, and see what's going on. Sorry, Carlos. I'm under specific orders not to let you through this door. Don't take another step. Okay. I guess Carlos is not allowed to go through that door. That is a Carlos free zone. They got a poster made. It's put up on the door. No Carlos is allowed. Hey, man, you got yourself a new haircut? Yeah, something like that. Got a new weave, did. So maybe I've got to get into a vent and, like, go around or something? Yeah, it looks like it. I just got to sneak through on that side, maybe? I don't know what's off to the right over here, but... I suppose we'll save that for later. Hey, hold it right there, Carlos. Thought you could get away from your performance review, did you? Nice try. Get in there. Alright. I guess I'm going in for my performance review?
Hey, Carlos, let's get, uh... Wait a second. Something's not right. What's wrong with you? Oh my god, you're a... A year older! <laughs> I like this game's sense of humor. You should have seen your reaction. It was priceless. Happy birthday, Carlos. That kind of sucks to get killed on your birthday, though. Like, I'm not feeling that noise. Like, you get killed on your birthday. That's not a good look. Can I just push this button right here? Doors unlocked. Uh-oh. The point of a lockdown is that the doors are supposed to stay locked. Do you want to end up like Sector 1? Uh, by which I mean fired, but definitely not dead. Just follow protocol, all right? It, it's very important that our repair teams remain undisturbed. That guy's got 50 HP? Oh. That's problematic. I think my dumbass is going to have to go around then. I thought he had 20. No, he's got 25. I have 50 HP. Damn it! This is my life now. I panicked and I saw the wrong thing. Alright, go whack him so we can get some biomatter to make this happen with. Uh, nope, don't really want that. I would like you to claw him into pieces, though, and then eat his face off. So that next turn, we can do something oh-so-devious. Start getting myself some drones. Is Carlos able to do, like, whatever he wants right now? I assume I'm gonna need Carlos for later to make everybody turn around when I go through the door. Or something. Kill all of the repair teams. Okay. I don't know what a repair team is, but we'll get to it. I mean, we'll put it on the list of stuff that we need to accomplish. All right, back to the queen. Let's... How much biomass is that? Oh, it costs four. Okay, never mind. Uh, let's go over to here, then. See who we have available. So we've got a shooty spot and some other stuff, but I think I can sneak around it. I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. I think it's just watching him walk around all stiff-legged. So, aside from the horrible state that his knees are in, I don't think it's going to matter. We'll kill this guy over here. Like it is so. And he's going to be right outside where he needs to be in order to hear me murder his friend. So great. Perfect. This guy hasn't moved around at all the entire time. I'm just trying to get some drones together so that I can start clearing rooms and making this thing happen. So you eat him. Nom, 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 nom. What's in that cage right there? Is that like a drone or something? I don't know. We'll drop one of them right there. You head back this way. And now that our drone is all ready to go, I can't get to him right now until I figure out how to turn off the security system. Maybe I gotta click that right there. Civilians moving between computers, stopping for a few turns to reply to emails, play solitaire, and then they move on. Okay. That sounds vaguely manageable. Over on this side, I think we had one more security guard, too. So let's send our outrunner out to go take care of that. I don't know how to get after that guy without invoking the ire of that massive machine gun. So unfortunately, we're just going to have to leave it for right now. I could check somebody's emails, but that's snooping, and ethically, that's very, very wrong. Don't be a snoop. Even alien marauders are above being a snoop. That's, that's a dirty crime right there. That's a dirty, ugly crime. He can't attack, so... I guess that kind of leaves us where we're at right now. Let's keep moving people around. We got enough for another drone right after this. My assumption is that I'm not going to be able to crack this room with less than three killers in the streets. Move up to there. Actually, did everybody come inside? Looks like everybody might have. I'm sort of worried about that machine gun right there. But I don't think it's going to function. We've got a vent on that side. Where does that go? The vent leads over to there. This might actually be manageable. What's this? A memo for a party on second. Ah. I don't seem to have received an invite. 
Oh, that's a shame. As without my authorization, it's not permitted. Oh, well. I guess the party's cancelled. Get back to work. Oh, and leave the cake. I'll send someone from security to pick that up. God, Mr. Pecker is such a dick. My name is Splattercat. This game is called Attack of the Earthlings. If you wanted to get it, I got a link for you down below, all silky fresh and ready for your perusal. You can buy the game there. Aside from that, if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like. It helps the channel out more than you know and keeps me trucking as a content creator. Other than that, my name is Splattercat. I show off indie games every single day here on the internet so you know what's new and hottest in that realm. I will see you all next time. Hi to everybody and take care out there.